Welcome back. Now, let's begin with tribal plans and sub-plans. Tribal development has been the main agenda of governance since the fifth five-year plan, where the tribal sub-plan concept was introduced for the first time in the year 1974-75. According, according to this, special attention was drawn to channelize the financial resource of the socio-economically vulnerable scheduled tribe communities across the country. The scheduled areas under Article 244 of the Constitution are given special attention in few states by way of forming Integrated Tribal Development Agencies ITDA. ITDA constitutes a block of area with scheduled tribe population of more than 50% and administered by a designated officer. In the country, there are 194 such ITP, ITDPs. These agency areas are there for safeguarding the interest of tribal and their culture and customs. The tribal subplan, the state through a tribal subplan is a legislation that mandates itself that the portion of the state plan out lay a proportionate to its tribal population and is earmarked for taking up the activities in the tribal area. Every department in such state mandatorily earmark the budget of the development activities in the tribal areas. Tribal subplan emerged as the watershed in the history of tribal development administration in India. This approach is essential, essentially an area development approach and the focus is on the problem of tribal people. It is integrated approach in which all departments work together for tribal development in coordinated manner. It is basically a plan within a plan. What do you mean by that? That means it involves preparation of plan for the welfare and empowerment of tribal and it is called a sub-plan because it, specific, it is specifically for tribal and is a part of the plan of a state or a union territory. Tribal subplan is not applicable to some states. Can you say which states? Yes, the northeastern states like Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Mizoram, and Nagaland, and in the union territories of Lakshadweep and Dadar Nagar Haveli as well. The tribal subplans are not applicable because these are tribal majority states or union territories with more than 60% of the population as the tribals. The annual plan of these states or union territories is basically a tribal plan. So there is no need of a separate subplan. There are several steps in the formulation of tribal subplan. In the first step, the area of tribal concentration are identified and clearly demarcated. Then social and cultural roadblocks road blocks are identified along with identification of promoters of change and development. In the third step, in the third step, needs and problems of the tribal areas and the potentialities are assessed. In the next step, there is the assessment of availability of resources of the tribal subplans and formulation of sectoral plan takes place. Integrated tribal development project strategy is an important part of tribal subplan. It includes a number of contagious contiguous blocks within a district. It includes all those blocks within a district which have more than 50% of their population as tribals. To conclude, the Tribal Development Administration has developed to a great extent in India. At the national level, both the administration and policy framework. Over the years, a rich knowledge reservoir has developed for tribal development in India. But the main issue continues to be the implementation of various tribal policies, programs and schemes and effective working of tribal institution for development. This depends upon the tribal development administration at the state level. It is at the state level that challenges of tribal development administration become more obvious. In the next video, we will start our next unit, which is based on natural resource management. Till then, keep learning. Thank you.